Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to talk to you about AMD's CES keynote where we got to see the new Radeon 7 graphics card as well as the third generation Ryzen CPU where we were actually able to even see under the IHS where we could see the chiplet as well as the IO which is going to be feeding the data between the Zen 2 core and the rest of your system. But first a quick thank you and shout out to the sponsors for CES 2019. Of course I'm talking about Be Quiet as well as Dot Tech Domains who helped out considerably with sending me out to Las Vegas this year. So huge thanks to them. Now getting back to third gen Ryzen we didn't get a ton of information concerning the Ryzen CPU and leading up to the event, there was so much speculation, leaks, rumors, um, particularly the one from Adore TV, which I covered, which had said that, in that AMD was going to be having a 16 core, 32 threaded part for their Ryzen lineup, which would definitely be straying away from what they've done in the previous two generations. And that would probably be some of the most exciting information we got besides just coming down to seven nanometer. But when they showed off Ryzen at CES, it was only revealed that it was an eight core part, at least the one that they were showing off. Now, a lot of people have been asking, well, will there be another part coming later on down the road? Personally, I am going to theorize that there will be, and I'm happy to explain why. Uh, also, some information that came after CES from Lisa Su, um, some of the things she said actually would make you lead, led to believe that as well. So there's a couple of things that I wanna show you here and explain why I think we will still get a 16 core part when it comes to third generation Ryzen. So PC World actually interviewed um, Lisa Su after the keynote, about 30 minutes after uh, the keynote, because they asked during the keynote, they said, somebody messaged me about the core count on Ryzen. And they said, oh, so it only took 30 minutes for someone to ask. That's Lisa Su responding there. And the reporter once again says, well, can you give us any indication where Ryzen third gen is going to be at? To which Lisa Su responded, if you look at the evolution of Ryzen, we've always had an advantage in core count. And so in this particular case, we wanted to show a sort of head to head comparison. Eight cores, 16 threads. Some people may have noticed on the package that there is some extra room there. And yes, pretty much everyone noticed that there was extra room on the CPU die. If you see it here, this is the seven nanometer Zen. And then you've got this vacant space right here because the one to the left, that's actually, that's the IO that I mentioned previously. But if you were to slide this down, you could definitely fit another chiplet on there. And then that would take this eight core CPU and turn it into a 16 core CPU and those two chiplets could then communicate over the infinity fabric and then with the rest of the system via the IO die. So that is what many people think is going to happen right now. I happen to be one of them. I did ask during the event if there was going to be another chiplet. Obviously no one can give me it. Some people joke that maybe they'll put a GPU there. Maybe they'll have integrated graphics. I think that is definitely a possibility. I think AMD could probably do both. I think we could get a 16 core CPU down the road, but then when it comes to um, the gaming lineup, like we've seen previously, they didn't do like eight core, um, you know, CPUs with integrated graphics. It was lower core counts. It was quad cores with integrated graphics. So I definitely think it's possible that we could see a 16 core CPU. And then when they come to doing CPUs with integrated graphics, they might have the high end being eight cores and maybe, maybe six cores, four cores. We really have to wait and see on that but it's definitely a possibility that it could be eight cores plus an integrated graphics. But I also think we'll get a 16 core part as well. So I think we're gonna be getting both of those things. Now, just saying that there's enough room there is, you know, is one thing, but there's actually even more evidence than that as some of the pictures um, and one of the videos I took in particular, you can actually even see some tracers on there where the CPU could go. So this is um, a video, this, I was, this was footage I was shooting of the die during CES and I was told that I could not pick up the CPU probably because they don't want anyone to see the pin layout on the back. That's my theory as to why they didn't want anyone to pick it up so that, cause then people could literally count the pins and then they could find out if they needed to upgrade their motherboard because it have, if it has more pins than the previous gen, then you would not be able to use the AM4 boards, which is probably going to be the case, but we just have to wait and see on that. And AMD is obviously wants to control when that information is released, which is 100% in their right. Um, but after I picked up the CPU, I was actually told that I was not allowed to hold the CPU, even if I didn't show the back end. It was uh, very quickly taken away from me, as you'll see right here. It was taken out of my hand and put back down to lay flat, which was allowed, we were allowed to film it. You can see here I have it sitting flat on the table and that was totally fine. They didn't have any issues with that. However, I wanna show you this part right here as we'll go through kind of frame by frame as I was moving it around a bit. And you can see right there that you can see these tracers right here. It almost looks like 
a little pocket is made right there, right where another chiplet would go. So it's not just like, oh no, there's empty space. Like, no, you can actually see where it would go. If we keep going there, you can see it moving around back, moving around uh, as I kind of rotate it and, th and things. So you could definitely see where they would be able to put a, another CPU in there and the tracers would even say that it's, I, I would almost guarantee it at this point that we're going to see one there. Now, this also could maybe not even come until next generation, but as Lisa Sue said, we've always had an advantage when it comes to core count, and I think that they are going to do everything that they can to keep that advantage over Intel, as Intel has now caught up with having eight cores and 16 threads for the mainstream, even if they are charging like $550 for it. So I think it's 100% a possibility that we will see a 16 core part this year from AMD sometime towards the middle of the year. But of course, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about this? Do you think it's going to have 16 cores? Do you think it's just going to be an 8 core plus integrated graphics? Obviously, we're going to have to wait and see more information from AMD on that. But I am still not giving up on the fact that there will be a 16 core part for the mainstream that doesn't involve, you know, going for a Threadripper part, which can be quite pricey, uh, even if you go back a couple of generations. So fingers crossed that we do see one in the mainstream as I would love to use one in my main system. It's very exciting times um, for a content creator like myself. I mean, I know for most people probably watching this video, you're probably gamers and it'll probably never make a difference to you in the near future how many about having 16 cores. But for someone like me, this is very exciting because I run an eight core 9900K in my system right now. But if this is a 16 core and I can get my hands on one, I would definitely use that instead. Speaking of content creation, why not create your own unique domain with .tech domains? So many companies are choosing to use them now from startups like Shadow.tech all the way up to the big companies like Viacom.tech and CES.tech, the event that I was at just last week in Las Vegas. And if you go to the link down in the description below and use the code CESGO at checkout right now, you could save 90% off one, five, and 10 year domains. So be sure to hit up that link down in the description below over to dot tech domains. But I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here, guys. As always, I do look forward to the discussion down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're not already. And if you have been here for a while, you can always ring the notification bell and then you'll never miss a moment of content as soon as it goes up here live on the channel. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Ta-ra.